In this video, I'm going to show you a neat trick to make any effect strobe and flicker in Adobe Premiere Pro. And we're going to use it in this case to create a lens focus quake effect. So this is a very simple technique. We'll just drag a clip onto the timeline. And when you're working on a, a clip, normally the strobe effect, which we can find in the effects panel, the strobe light and the stylized folder works in this way. So if I apply it on the clip, by default, it's just going to strobe a white flash. And if we go to the effect controls panel, we can see the settings and controls we have. So you could choose the strobe color. Right now it's white. You can make it whatever color you want. You can choose the amount to blend with the original. Here it is at 50%. Then you can also choose the strobe duration. Also, if you ever click this reset icon, you can always reset it. So right now it's blinking on for 0.5 seconds or half a second every one second. That's why we're getting this half a second, half a second, half a second, half a second. And the random strobe probability increases that there might be a random flicker in between that. That's why if we increase that, we get a much more crazy strobe. And then the strobe operates on color is what we have right now, but makes layer transparent is the one that we're going to be working with. So already in the first place, this is a cool, crazy strobe flash. Now the random seed, I'm not a mathematician, but the way randomness is generated um, is not exactly random like it is in nature. So the random seed allows you to introduce a different kind of randomness if you need it. So perhaps you could add a keyframe and change the random seed every once in a while if you, if you feel like you're getting the same look on the random strobe. You could introduce different random seeds to get even more random strobes. But we're going to ignore that for now. Now that we know how the strobe light effect works, we're going to use it in a cool way so that we can actually strobe any effect, not just the clip. So I'm actually going to delete that strobe light effect. And I'm going to just hold option and drag the clip on top of itself or just drag another instance of the clip on top of itself. So now I have two copies of the clip, one on top of the other. And on the bottom clip, I'm going to actually hide the visibility of, of track two right now with this eyeball icon. And on the bottom clip is where we're going to add any effect that we want. So if I add a blur, like a Gaussian blur, for example, on this bottom effect, we can add just your basic Gaussian blur. Now, if I wanted to turn this effect on and off, this would be very difficult to achieve with keyframes. Like I would have to add a keyframe on the blurriness. I would have to make it zero then go back to 100. Then maybe I could copy and paste that a bunch of times. And uh, surely you can play around with these sort of ideas to get back and forth things. I would also have to turn them all into hold keyframes. So there's no gradual blending. Surely you could play around with something like this. But by using the strobe light effect, we can just simply make this entire clip, the level of blurriness and whatever else effect we want, then turn on the uh, clean copy of the clip on top and just add a strobe light effect on it. And instead of using the color, make it make layer transparent. And then you can just adjust the strobe duration or random strobe probability to your liking. And basically now you're going to get a the, the original clip is going to be flickering like this. And then underneath of it, we have the same clip, but just blurred. So the only thing we're basically flickering now is the effect that we applied. So in this way, we get this cool lens flicker effect. Check out my other tutorials. I have a series called Every Effect Explained, where I go over all the effects panel. And subscribe to stay tuned for all my future videos. My name is Justin Odisho. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.